What is going on you guys? Welcome back to another episode here of Outdoor Sensei. My name is Jamoa and today we're here to check out this beautiful, beautiful lake. Um, the last time I came here was during the ice season and we did pretty good on the panfish. Um, just bluegills and all types of sunfish. So hopefully today we can do the same during the open water. I got the canoe or kayak out today. I don't really know what to call this thing. Uh, if you guys haven't seen the review on this video, I'll leave or I'll put a link on the top here. But I need a name for this. So if you guys can think of a name for this thing, that'd be super awesome. Um, anyways, yeah, let's just get to some fishing here. If you guys haven't yet, make sure you head down there, hit that subscribe button. Uh, I'm just gonna be using worms today. And I got my float up there, super simple setup. Got my ultra light uh, rod set up right here. I'll show you guys really quick. So this right here is my St. Croix Trout Siri rod. It is a six foot ultra light. I, I love this thing because it's got this nice handle right here and you can feel all the sensitivity right here. Uh, right here, it's got a small Fluger try on the rail four pound mono test line and then I got one of the trout magnet hooks on there if you guys want to see or pick up a kit I'll leave a link down below also a split shot right here hopefully you guys can see that floating on the on the side right here and then my beautiful pink bobber so I went with the hot pink or orange that way you guys can see in the video but hopefully we can get on something just gonna put on a piece of worm here and we're gonna get started all right putting the head strap on here for you guys Ooh, I think I see a turtle or something something's floating right there I don't know what it is let's take the big camera here Oh, it's a turtle. Alright, so I'm just gonna try to get closer to these weed edges here. This should be where all the panfish are hanging out. Small little guy here. This is too small, man. Yeah, give me something bigger than this. Check that out, you guys. All right, we need to go find the bigger fish, man. All right, so if you guys are hearing a lot of car revving, it's because we got uh, the Road of America is like across the street, and Road of America is like a really big and famous uh, racetrack here in Wisconsin, and it's literally across the street, so. That's probably like a bunch of Corvette going at it. It's usually what it is. Or motorcycles. But in case you guys are wondering, that's what that is. Let's go. Man, there's a bunch of them right here. Instant. This one's pretty decent, man. All right, we're gonna be keeping this guy right here. All right. All right. We finally managed to get ourselves a pretty decent gill right here. So I'm just gonna put in my cooler right here. It's gonna go in the frying pan. I got some water in there. I got no ice, but we got water in the cooler. That should do the job instantly, guys. As soon as I drop it, whoa, 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 they're just everywhere. Demolishing my worm. Let's go. You're too small, buddy. This guy's too small. Ah, he just spined me. Oh, come on. Oh, no, 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 no. 
Come on, I don't have time for this tangle stuff. All right, we'll be back in a minute. All right, we are back. I need to put a new piece of worm on. Man, it is such a beautiful day today. This is what the outdoors is about, you guys. So anytime you guys are, anytime you guys see the nice weather and you guys got free time, make sure you go out there and hit, the, hit up your local lakes and just fish for some panfish. It's fun. <laughs> that guy took it all the way down. I was, I was just so like into watching them biting my worm that I forgot to set the hook. My bobber went down like almost a foot. But we're just gonna try to get a couple more here and then gonna get going. Just try to get enough to eat for the night, for dinner, a little fish fry dinner. So make sure you guys stick around for the cooking part. Dude, I don't even think I need my bobber, man. Cause these fish are just swarming around my, my canoe right here. Or kayak. All right, so I took off my bobber. So pretty much I'm just casting this out there, letting it sink to the bottom. Slowly bring it back. Here it come. Let's go. All right, there we go. Another nice one. All right, this guy's going in the cooler. All right, I think these big ones are, I think I got it now. I think these big ones are a little deeper. Ooh, there we go. Well, this feels like a nice one. Yeah, buddy. nice one they're not like huge but pretty decent size one there we go Nice. I love this cooler, you guys. This cooler right here is pretty pretty good, man. It's, I've been using it a lot, not just for live bait, but using it. I used it to store frogs when I went frogging. Now we're using it for bluegill. Oh yeah, let's go. Tiny one. All right, you guys, so we just got home. I'm gonna start cooking now. I'm gonna clean the fish. We're just gonna do something simple. Uh, just gonna fillet and then season it and then we're just gonna fry it. So I'll show you guys the whole process. It should be pretty simple. So stay tuned, you guys. All right, just make sure you have a sharp knife right here. I just have one of my old fillet knife here. I have this one for a really long time now. All right. These bluegills have been sitting in the ice for a pretty long time, so it should be pretty nice and fresh. Just gonna cut just like that, and then we're gonna go straight back.
just like that you guys that's our first fillet so I'm pretty much gonna do that for the rest of it and then I'll show you guys when we're done all right you guys so we just got done cleaning all the pieces or all the fish beautiful nice little fillets here these are gonna be nice little nuggets man so we are gonna be using Louisiana Louisiana fish fry these things are amazing normally I put it in a bag but I think I think the bowl the bowl should do this job come on now all right so normally I just want enough to like coat the fish that should be good enough just gonna mix it around just like that and now we are gonna start frying we have peanut oil right here always always use peanut oil man highly recommend that should be perfect right there so the good thing about peanut oil is it doesn't burn as fast so you can cook your fish and you, like you can use this oil multiple times and it's still good so that's why I always recommend using peanut oil especially when you're deep frying right, the oil should be pretty hot right now so we're just gonna start putting these in see how it is oh yeah right there that's what you want to hear you guys I don't think this is gonna take long this is these pieces are pretty pretty thin Oh man, these are gonna be so good. These are ready. They are just popping. Popping like crazy. Oh. Check that out you guys. They're still sizzling. Alright, let's see. Here, have this piece right here. Mm. What do you think? Okay. <laughs> That's really good, guys. Look at that meat. I don't know. Hopefully, you guys can see that. Look at that. Mmm. All right. You gotta eat rice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we eat everything with rice. So, can I get a side of rice and the fish? This is gonna be a dinner. So if you guys like this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys next time.